the most important the key thing that i've learned over here during my time is to be completely confident about your field of work so that it slowly translates into self confidence which turns into conviction which makes it easier for others to believe in you the value of meeting different people from such different backgrounds working in different field is that you get to understand the different challenges that each and everyone is facing and through that you also learn to have empathy and your horizons of thinking are also broadened having such an amazing network of people and leaders all across the world is useful for me it's very crucial for me because now i can reach out to them for help for advice and also for possible advocacy i'm garo sambanshi i come from india for the first 21 years of my life i have lived in a, a small city in somewhere in western maharashtra called aurangabad it's famous because of its proximity to the buddhist caves which are like 25 to 3000 years old and uh, since then after the age of 21 i've been living in different parts of the country and working in diverse sectors i believe the primary reason uh, that i've been chosen is because the success that i've had in introducing blockchain to chatisgarh because what i did primarily was to reach out to global experts convince them on my own that you can work here and it and it is worth the effort and do it all on their own expenses because we are lacking resources and they did come they did help and we did complete some successful projects which have been first of its kind in india when it comes to inspirations i have had many but if i have to name just one i would say it would be the architect of the indian constitution uh, dr bhimrao ramji ambedkar because although he came from a very marginalized and oppressed background he single handedly led the entire struggle for education and for people to get their human rights and it has been such an amazing lesson that we i can draw from his life that i feel if i could just emulate him to just 1% then i would have made it really big hello everyone so this is the last day in cambridge at the moller institute and half of us have left and half of us are just waiting to leave in some time the past few days have been really an overwhelming experience and i'm feeling sad and happy at the same time a part of me will always be here at the moller institute but in return i think i'm also taking something along with me back to india when i go back if i have to summarize my experience over the past 10 days i could probably do it in three ways so my intellect it is so positively challenged by the interactions i had at the parliament my mind at this moment it is so heavily filled with the questions that were posed to us by the elders but to be honest if i have if i seek deep into my soul i am completely overwhelmed by the emotion that i have to say goodbye to 49 other amazing colleagues who have now become my family so i got to meet 49 of some of the most amazing people all around the world and initially it was all about discussing ideas about policy visions but when it came to evening it was all about what you feel as a person what were your past experiences and it was a gelling of the intellect and the heart at the same time and i don't know how you can say goodbye to a bond like that but i know that we are going to stay together because we are not just now future leaders group or a cohort right now i think we are a family Back someday. We'll definitely be back.